Do you want to create an awesome rope animation like this? Well, stick with me and I'll show how. So, before we get started, I have some things to clarify. Because I used Danny's scripts as a base in this video, I, of course, asked him for permission. Danny was super cool about it and let me use his scripts for this video. Also, you Danny fans might be thinking, is Afax Milk Gang? And I can assure you, I drink milk every day. But without further ado, let's get started. To create the base scene, I followed Danny's two tutorials on movement and grappling. You should follow those tutorials first, as they teach you how to set up the player and grappling hookup. This video is only for the rope animations. The pistol asset is from a free weapons pack and the boxes are from another pack. The skybox is also from a different pack, but don't worry, I have linked all the assets I've used to make this scene in the description. So to get started we want to create a new script called spring and I've left this paste in the description so you can just copy this code and open the script. By the way. If you don't want to code the scripts, I've left a link to the code in the description so you can just copy the code from the GitHub and paste it in and skip to the next part. I personally use the Rider editor, but any editor will work. Just delete everything and paste the new script in. This will be a simulation of the actual bounciness of the row. Now save this script and go back to the scene. So in the scene view, we don't edit anything. We need to create another script and call this script grappling rope. Now open that script, go back and also open the grappling gun script. We will need to modify the grappling gun script because we are gonna actually affect the rope in the grappling rope script and not anymore here. So to start off we want to scroll down and we want to copy the draw rope so just control X and go to the grappling rope and control V it in. Go back to the grappling gun, scroll up and copy the late update function. Now go to the grappling rope script and paste that function over the old update functions. Now as you can see we don't have all of these variables, so we want to go back, we want to scroll up and copy the line renderer, paste it in here, we still want to keep it here so don't delete it from here, and also copy the awake function. Just paste it uh, above the late update and that's the line renderer done. Now as you can see we still don't have the grapple point or the gun tip position and for that we need to create a new public variable. We want the grappling gun here and let's just call it grappling gun. So just copy the grappling gun, paste it here and type get grapple point. I usually set this to 12 because 8 is a bit too slow. You can also see that we don't have the joint here, so just copy the grappling gun and is grappling. And if it isn't grappling, just return. Now go back to the grappling gun script and you can see here that the current grapple position equals gun dot position. Just remove this, remove this too, and in here you can just remove the line renderer and just remove it from here and remove it from here. We don't need it in this script anymore. So that's done for the grappling gun script. Uh, we have modified it successfully and now we just need to create the grappling rope script for the actual rope. So you should remove all these set positions here and yeah, then let's get started on the actual rope. We need some public variables so we need a public int quality. Uh, so this is how many actual parts there are in the rope. So the more the quality, the better the rope will look. Then just copy this and paste it up here for consistency. And we still need one more private variable called string. 
and uh, string will be the actual simulation that runs. Now we just want some few more public variables for public float damper. I will explain what this will do uh, later. Damper strength velocity wave count and wave height. And lastly, we need an animation, public animation, animation curve, effect curve. So that's all the variables we need. Now we just need to make the draw rope. But before that, we just want to write spring equals new spring. So we initiate the spring and we want to set the target of the spring to zero. Now. Just cut the return and place these brackets here because we want to put more in this function. So if we aren't grappling, we want to set the current grapple position to the grappling gun the uh, tip gun tip dot position. Then we want to reset the spring with the reset function, and if the line render the position count. If it's more than zero, we just want to set the position count to zero. Now that's done. We want to check if the line render the position count equals zero. And if it equals zero, we want to set the spring dot velocity to velocity. So when you actually grapple, this uh, function happens when you grapple and you set initial velocity of the simulation to the variable there. Then we want to set the position count to quality plus one. So now let's just set the spring dot damper damper. Then we want to set the strength of it to strength. And finally we want to spring dot update and time dot delta time. So the damper is the variable that uh, basically slows down the simulation so it doesn't go for infinity up and down and up and down and the strength is how strong the actual simulation is and how strongly it tries to go to that uh, target point and in our case it's zero so there's no problem. Then we want a new variable called grapple point and the grapple point is grappling gun dot get grapple point then we want a gun tip position equals grappling grappling gun grappling gun dot gun tip dot position like that and then we want variable up equals quaternion dot loop rotation and that will be grapple point minus gun tip gun tip position dot normalize and times vector up so what this basically is uh, this means that it gets the up direction of the rope so even if you are looking at a slight angle it will still go up uh, based on the actual rope so it's not the world up it's the rope up and now we don't need the grap uh, get grappling point because we already got it here. So let's just set it here. And that's that function done now. So not much anymore. Just write a for loop. And this will loop over quality plus one. So for int i equals zero, i is less than quality plus one and i plus plus. So we want to create a new variable called delta and this goes from 0 to 1 depending on the, where the point is on the grappling rope. So this is i divided by float quality and no need to quality plus 1, just quality. Then we want to create a new variable called offset and this will be a long one but offset is the up vector so what's up times wave height so how high you want the actual actual waves to go times math f dot sin sin then delta times wave count 
times math f pot pi times spring spring dot value times effect curve dot evaluate delta like that and then just for the last thing we want to uh, set the lr dot set position to i and that's the index of the actual point i then vector three dot lerp so we want to lerp between two variables and that's the gun tip uh, gun tip position and current grapple position and that times delta and then the offset of our function and that's it that's the whole grappling rope function so now just save the script and go back to the scene view so when you are here just select the handgun where you already have the grappling gun script so just attach a grappling rope script here drag in the grapple gun script and I'll give you the good found values for these. So for quality, I'll say 500. That's a uh, that's pretty performant. It doesn't actually take that much um, per performance for your computer for 500. Then for damper 14, for strength 800, for velocity 15, for wave count 3, wave height 1, and for the effect curve. We actually want to open the curve editor, as you can see here. Just click any of the curves here. I'll just say this, and the curve appears in the center of your screen. But it's actually not done. We want to edit the keys so that the value is zero at both of them. So just click both of them with the right click, edit key, value zero, like that. And now, for the final touch, just drag this over so there's this bump-like formation. So at the endpoints of the grappling rope, it doesn't get affected at all because they are zero, and at the height, it gets affected by this arbitrary number. So that's good. Just save that like that, and you are done. That's the grappling rope. So just click play. You are here, and you can see that the rope is grappling uh, i don't know what to say but i think it's pretty cool and you can of course affect uh, or change how how big these waves are so you can see that the waves are pretty big but not maybe big enough so just click the hunt gun change the wave height and now you have bigger waves for your grappling rope so you, this is really customizable you can change it in any way you want and yeah, I, I really like this because it's really simple to edit too. It's just a few numbers and it gets a really cool touch on it. Also, the simulation makes it feel natural. It actually looks pretty good with the physics and spring simulation. And yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. And I hope you like this grappling rope too. So this was it. Tweaking and making this rope animation your own is super simple. If this video helped you in any way, a like would go a long way. If you like what you see and you also like devlogs, consider subscribing to me, it would make my day. If you enjoy Danny's videos, you'll probably also like mine. Thanks for watching, this was me, Afax, signing out. Um.